Yo, what is good up guys? Welcome back in this little quick video. I want to show you guys how I went about fixing the VFX not showing in the right mesh. So if I press play here and hopefully I don't shoot myself in the foot here, but if I walk over with my other mesh, let me just find where I am on this other screen. Sorry, my setup is different now. Uh, so here I am standing in front of this guy. If I shoot, you'll see that the the bullet tracer comes out of the third person gun but in first person if i shoot you'll see that the bullet tracer is actually coming out of my first person gun so before the and, and let me switch this back so you guys can see what was wrong and then we'll go through the debugging that i did together uh, let's just switch this back to what it was everything was on actor and then i can kind of explain why that was why it was bugging out and put this back on actor so if i compile that that's how it was naturally if i press play here and i bring my other guy in front so here i am in front and if i shoot you see it comes out of my barrel but if i shoot in first person it comes like slightly above where my my actual muzzle is and that's because it's going off of the the actor space and if you guys remember, we attached the actor to the third person mesh. The, the actor itself is attached to the third person mesh. And only on the client did we say, hey, you know, uh, attach this first person mesh to the, to the first person arm. So technically on the server and where everyone else is, that first person mesh is in the same spot as that third person mesh. So I went through here and let me show you how I actually found out that nothing that I was doing was actually wrong. It was just a, a little mess up on the, the spacing of where things was. I toggled the breakpoint here. I also went ahead and enabled the most annoying feature in Unreal Engine 5, unless you're debugging the enable pin value inspection tooltips. Uh, when, when you're not debugging, this shit is annoying as hell, but uh, you know, debugging is not bad. So I press play here and I would go to shoot a bullet and here we get the spawn and it's telling me that i have no data yet but if i go to the next node you'll see i have the correct data it's getting the right mesh it's getting the weapon mesh 1p because i am being locally controlled when i'm shooting this and same thing for here it attaches if you look here it attaches to the weapon mesh 1p so i was like okay i guess it's got to be something with the actual actor because remember this weapon fire actor is an actual actor class. It's not just a, a VFX or a component. It's an entire actor that gets attached to our character. And it's only one time that we spawn this actor, uh, uh, unless you're working in my project where it gets spawned every time. But um, let's go ahead and jump into this fire. Uh, this inside this fire function, this is where the actual implementation of the, of the transform is actually happening. And I've seen that this is all on actor. And instantly in my mind, I was like, oh shit, the actor is attached to the third person mesh. So that's why it's doing that. So if you go in here, you change all of these socket transforms to the component, which we want it to be based off of the components. Since the two components are going to be in two different spots, um, we want it to be based off of the component itself and not just the actor. So if you compile that and you hit play, and I'm only going to play as one because we saw it working in multiplayer. Play as one. Our first person sees this, and if I toggle this breakpoint and continue here, our first person mesh sees that puppy coming out of the right muzzle. So that is the fix for that. Uh, sorry for making you guys. Actually, I think I'm gonna release this at the same time as the other video. So yeah, that's pretty much all I want to cover in this video. I uh, apologize for not actually being thorough here with my with my code, but hopefully you guys learned a little something from this and seeing the debugging. Let me go ahead and turn this tooltips thing off because I know for sure I'm going to forget. So turn that off and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.